In 1982, voters passed the Gallagher Amendment to the Constitution that changed the way property was appraised. And it also required that the amount of property taxes collected from homes statewide could never account for more than roughly 45% of total property tax collections statewide. The amendment means that the remaining 55% of property taxes must come from non-residential property, like businesses and agricultural property. Gallagher also dictates the assessment rate for all property. What's the assessment rate? It's the percentage of a property's value that is subject to taxation. You don't pay taxes on the entire value of your home, only a portion of it. For example, if you have a $400,000 home and the assessment rate is 7.15%, you only pay property taxes on $28,600 of the home's value. That assessed value is multiplied by your locally approved mill levy. In Colorado, about 50% of assessed mills fund the school districts, 30% fund county and town budgets, and the rest fund special districts, like fire protection districts. Gallagher sets the assessment rate on most non-residential property at 29%. That 29% rate means that the assessment rate for residential property must fluctuate to maintain the roughly 45-55 ratio. When Gallagher was added to the Constitution, the residential assessment rate was 21%. But throughout the 1980s, the growth in value of residential property outpaced increases in non-residential property values. With ever-rising residential property values, the assessment rate on homes had to be lowered to avoid residential property from bearing more than the 45% ratio. The assessment rate on homes fell to 18%, then 16%, then 15%, it hit 10.36% in 1995, then it fell to 7.96% in 2003. In 2017, it dropped 7.2%. In 2019, it fell again to 7.15%. These falling assessment rates mean that today, business property is assessed at four times the rate that home property is assessed. Due in part to Gallagher, Colorado has some of the lowest property taxes on homes in the country. And because residential property value increases continue to outpace non-residential value growth statewide, Gallagher will cause more drops in the residential rate in the future. Each time the assessment rate falls, the voter-approved mills are worth less. In 2021, the rate is set to fall to 5.88%. That's nearly an 18% drop in the rate. How does Gallagher impact schools? Colorado funds schools both with local property taxes and with other kinds of taxes collected at the state level. An 18% drop in the residential assessment rate will mean about $500 million less in property tax dollars to fund schools. The automatic rate drops impact different parts of Colorado in different ways. Areas of Colorado that have seen strong growth in residential property market value or areas with a lot of non-residential property, which is subject to the 29% assessment rate, weren't adversely impacted by the drop in the residential assessment rate. But for smaller, more rural areas that haven't seen the double-digit growth in home prices as the Denver metro area, local government budgets like cities, counties, and special districts saw declines in revenue. That is why many Coloradans have seen local Gallagher-related issues on their ballots in the last two years. Last year, for instance, East Grand Fire Protection District saw 65% of their voters approve a de-Gallagherizing measure. In fact, voters in many fire districts across the state gave permission for their mills to rise to offset the drops in funding when the statewide residential assessment rate falls. Some Coloradans might have two or three different Gallagher-related questions on their ballot this November. Their city, county, or fire district might all be asking permission to de-Gallagherize. And it gets even more complicated. There is also a statewide Gallagher question on the 2020 ballot, Amendment B. The statewide resolution asks Coloradans to repeal the Gallagher Amendment so that the residential assessment rate doesn't fall in the future. If the statewide Gallagher repeal passes, the 7.15% assessment rate on homes still can't be raised without voter approval because of the Tabor Amendment. The repeal of Gallagher would also give state legislators the ability to lower the assessment rate on non-residential property in the future. This video was written and produced by the Colorado Fiscal Institute.